Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm in a different location today because I'm doing a different style video and working with bigger bags. If you saw the title and the thumbnail, you guessed it. This is a comparison video between the Kipling Defia in the color Stone Purple and the Lug Jumper in the color Ocean. First off, before I get started, I want to say thank you so much to my best friend Nicole for this uh, lug ocean jumper thank you so so very much i wanted to get this bag and i kept teetering back and forth and by the time i could make a decision it sold out this color was super popular and y'all know me if you watch my videos you know my favorite colors are blue and purple so i'm super excited to show you these two bags today they are both amazing and whatever you choose or whatever you already have they're great bags so let's get started before I unload anything, what I like to do first while the bags are full is do a try on. So the first thing to compare, both of these bags come with a crossbody strap. So here is the width of the crossbody strap that you get with the Kipling Defia, and there is the hardware. So it's like this brush silver hardware. And here is the strap that you get with the lug jumper. And this is the hardware that you get with that one. So it's like a, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that's gunmetal. It kind of looks like it's a gunmetal type to me. And they are both adjustable. So just so you can get a comparison of the strap width here. Additionally, the bags have two shoulder straps. So hopefully you can get an idea of what the drops are look like on these two bags and also as for the measurements for both the Kipling is a little bit bigger you will see as we go throughout the, the video in terms of the base size the capacity what it holds but additionally in the description box down below if you want to see the measurements I will put measurements for both bags down there okay so let's do a try on here so first I'm going to use the shoulder straps and show you what it looks like wearing the Defia on my shoulder. So this bag is completely full. I actually have it packed for a trip home. So I have all of the little things that I need for the week. And this is what the bag looks like on me. You can see it goes pretty far up my armpit, almost, almost to the top, but not quite. There's still a nice gap there. And here is the base, again, fully extended. You can see I do have one and more stuff in one pocket than the other. That's what it looks like. And then here it is on the crook of my arm. And then as for short shoulder, here's what that's gonna look like. So here it is on the shortest crossbody strap setting. And this is probably how I'll wear the bag most times because I love this drop. I love how I can just rest my arm right on top of it when I'm carrying it. My shoulder is not extremely hiked up. It's just very comfortable. And then as for crossbody, sorry if the table is just a little bit shaky when I move the bags. Here is what the bag looks like on me crossbody. So you can see with, with both of these bags, it's gonna be a, a thick base. A, a, a very wide base. So if I'm in a moment where I'm in a pinch, I got to use both of my hands, I have this bag on me, I would absolutely switch it to shoulder. I probably wouldn't carry it like this for a super long period of time because again, big bag, you know, big on the hips. Um, it is not extremely heavy, but it's heavy enough that wearing it crossbody for a very long period of time could cause a little bit of shoulder strain, I imagine. So I probably wouldn't um, wear it for a super long time. So that is the carriage options for the Kipling Defia in stone purple. And also for those of you who just are here for the what's in my bag slash comparison, you don't care about the try on, I will leave timestamps down below in the description box so you can skip ahead. Okay, on to the jumper. So the unique thing that the jumper has here, and I actually forgot to show you this with the Kipling, so let's get them back in the frame together. The Kipling has this pleather strip that goes across the shoulder straps and they're folded and sewn over. That way 
you know, you've got this nice, slim and trim, comfortable strap. And then on the jumper, they have these um, no slip grip rubber pieces sewn together. You can see the seam there on the bottom half and on the top half. That way the bag stays on your shoulder better without slipping off. Um, while we're on the shoulder strap topic, I'll tell you, I have a love-hate relationship with shoulder straps that have the rubber grip. And the reason being, if I have my hair back, it's great. But if I have my hair down, there's always one or two strands that get stuck in it and it, pull, it yanks my hair out completely. I have another lug bag that has these and it is a lot bigger bag than this one. And maybe that's part of it too because it's heavier, it hurts my hair. Uh, when my hair does get stuck in it so that's just some food for thought there but i do love the concept of them because that is not coming off my shoulders so that works look how well that works so anyway so now you can see the drop there is, i feel like there's a little bit more wiggle room maybe under my armpit than the defia so let's get this back on the body so yeah you can see this has a little bit more of a generous drop um, in terms of, you know, sitting right up under my shoulder. I am 5'2", so I'm, I'm a short person, but you can kind of see this one falls a little bit higher than the jumper. But that is what that looks like on the body. And here is the base. You'll see that this has uh, four feet on the bottom, whereas the Defia does not have any feet on it. But they are both, um, like, this is crinkled nylon, I think, this is also a form of nylon. You can tell this is a little more shinier. This is like a matte type nylon, but they are both wipeable. So if you do get something on the bottom, dust, dirt, maybe something wet, you can wipe that off. So anyway, that's what that looks like. And then if I'm wearing it in the crook of my arm, there we go. And then if I'm gonna wear this crossbody strap or use the crossbody strap, okay. So this is already at the shortest setting that it goes to. So let's see where this falls on the body. Okay, so just about pretty much right where the Defia fell. Um, and that is super comfortable. This is probably how I would wear it. The rubber, if my hair is up and out of the way like it is today, I would use these, these straps because the drop is nice. I like it. But if maybe my hair is down, or again, I'm running around, I might need the crossbody in a pinch, I would totally wear it there. So now let's adjust it to where I might wear it as a crossbody bag. And this is what it looks like on me. So again, a wide base, not quite as wide as the Kipling, because again, the Kipling does have a little more capacity. It has a little more of a bigger base. But this is what it looks like. Again, this is doable. The strap width is a little bit smaller. The Kipling has a wider strap, which I like that. Um, but again, if I'm packing this for the day or trip and I need my two hands, I'm popping on the crossbody strap. It'll work for a short period of time without causing a ton of shoulder pain. Or if I don't, I do have them both packed to the gills just to show you the, the capacity. So. In real life, I might not have them always packed that full, depending on the situation, so that would also alleviate some pressure on the shoulders. Okay, so for the purposes of the review and comparison, I'm going to take off both crossbody straps just to make, make things a little bit easier. Okay, so let's get both beauties back into the frame. Okay, so we already took a look at the bottoms, but since we've got them on a nice flat level here at my dining room table, trying to get them as level as I can in the little, the little screen. Um, so you can see that the base on the Kipling is a little bit um, lengthwise, a little bit taller than the, the jump, the lug jumper. Okay. And I think the Kipling Defia is also a little bit taller. Again, if you want to see the measurements, I will put those, actually it kind of looks like the jumper is taller, right? Um, but I will put the measurements down in the description box for you. Okay, so they, as you saw with the crossbody strap, they both have their own little D-rings. They both land right, you know, 
above the outside slip pockets, so that's great. They both have the double zippers in the main compartment. They both have back zipper pockets. They both have four exterior pockets on the front. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We just have a different uh, configuration with the Kipling. And then in terms of cr uh, shoulder strap attachment with the lug, we've got these rectangular uh, gunmetal pieces of hardware on all four. And then on Kipling, they are attached directly to the bag in the form of these pleather uh, squares. Okay. And for the label, so lug, I'm gonna try to scoot you in close here without knocking over the camera. With lug, you have a tonal label there on that pocket. And then Kipling, you also have a tonal label, but it falls on the top portion of this pocket here. So, and you know what? I, I told you they all have four pockets on the front. I lied. The Kipling has the four. Lug, you know signature lug, lug fans, you know this. There is a signature cell phone pocket. It is a vertical pocket there. And I do have my iPhone 11 out and ready to go. And you already know that that's going to fit beautifully in there. It's not closing right now, so... I think because the bag is so full, it's kind of pooching forward a little bit. So, but anyway, that fits down in there perfectly, beautifully. Okay. So let's just go ahead and jump into the review slash comparison slash what's in my bag. Okay. Let's start with these pockets. So you already know we've got that front cell phone pocket. So with lug, the configuration goes like this. So you have these nice Puddle jumper pockets, popular for lug, and there are these hidden magnet pockets on the front. You have two of them here. So in this first one, all I stuck in here for right now is the tags that go with the lug jumper. So you could fit credit cards in here, you could fit band-aids. Flat items are great in these pockets, and you do have the nice quilting. And then in the other pocket, I decided to put, what do I have in here? Oh. I have a Vera Bradley mirror. This is in the print Lavender Meadow. I haven't even used this yet, so it still has the tags on it. But as I was going through some of my accessories, I was like, I wanted to see what all would fit in these, these nice little pockets. I love hidden magnets now. Let's see if I can get the magnet to close there. So that is what is in those two front pockets. Now on the Kipling side of things, you have a variation of pockets here. So this one, which when I first saw this, I was like, what the heck am I gonna keep in this pocket, right? Well, in this one, I have a pack of tissues. I'm gonna try and really hard not to shake my camera because it's, it's really, really shaky. Um, I have a pack of tissues in there, but you do have, even though it opens uh, diagonally like that, you have the capacity of the entire pocket to put things in. I also recommend putting flat things in here so it doesn't like bulge out and obstruct the zipper. Also, if you haven't noticed uh, what the zipper pulls look like with these bags, on Kipling, you get the classic round zippers that say Kipling. And then with Lug, you get the kind of sideways here, but they are, I'll show you better on the back, actually. You can see them perfect. But they're the classic gunmetal zippers that say Lug on the ends. Okay. And then the other pocket for the Kipling bag here, we have got a Velcro pocket. So that is one difference you will see. Lug uses the hidden magnets, which I love. Kipling uses Velcro. I don't love Velcro as much, but I can deal with it on this bag because I love this bag and I love Kipling. So that's totally fine with me. So this pocket does have one of those rectangular metal pieces of hardware connecting this uh, to this top of the pocket. And in here, I would also recommend putting thin things. Right now, I have a chapstick holder that's still new in the package. And then I have a bunch of Kipling and Vera Bradley tags in this pocket as well. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. If you see me constantly looking over, it's because I'm just watching the time. Okay, let's go back to the lug. And we've got these two pockets here that zip around. So you'll see that these zippers start on this, you know, on the inside of the pocket. In here, I have a pack of wipes. But if you 
are a fan of the Splits wallet, which I did pick up. I actually picked this up before I knew I was getting this bag because I wanted something in Ocean. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So this is the Splits in Ocean. And if you want to put your wallet in the front pocket, you know, have it a little more accessible, you are going to be successful in fitting that in this pocket. And so it zips around perfectly. Mind you, I do not have the splits filled. It does, it can bulk out a little more than how it is currently, but I think the pocket will just bulk and accommodate that larger wallet. So just wanted to show that that fits in there. And this is just, you know, your standard antiseptic hand wipes and that fits great inside of that pocket. I just kind of fold down the plastic a little bit. And then in the other pocket here, we have a Vera Bradley pill case in Cats Meow. And so that fits in there very nicely. So you can see how that goes down in there, like so. And then in the other two pockets, now you'll see with the Kipling, I do like this a little bit better, how they put the, the zippers when they're closed on the same side so they're you can kind of zip them around a little bit easier rather than being right next to each other it's not a huge deal it's not a huge deal but I, I do like that they are on the different sides like that so in this pocket I have a Vera Bradley pill case I actually use this as a sewing kit just wanted to show that you could fit that in there you could see the pocket is a little bit taller uh, maybe almost by an inch a little bit taller than the uh, puddle jumper po pockets on the lug so you can fit a little bit more in these. And then in this one, I just have my Owl's Coin Purse by Vera with my charcoal medallion Vera Bradley battery pack. Those have all my little charger items in there. And if you're wondering, can I fit my, if you have an iPhone 11, can I fit my iPhone 11 in these front uh, pockets on either bag? On the Kipling, yes you can. And I, I did do a full review of this one, so if you want to see that, I will link that down below. And then in the lug jumper, it's going to be a little too tall. It's going to be a little tall. So you see it comes right over the pocket. Let's see if I can extend the back over it. I can, but I would not do that because look. See how it's poking up and pushing the zipper up? I wouldn't do that. Why would you do that? Because you got to... You got a nice soft line the cell phone pocket because Amy thinks of everything. She's got you covered with cell phone pocket. You don't need to put your cell phone in that uh, puddle jumper pocket, right? So let's go ahead and put the nice pill case back in there. And let's move on to the back of the bag. Before I move on though, I just want to say that Kipling, you know, I'm, I'm pretty new to Kipling, so I'm, I'm still learning some things, but this is a older style of the Defia. And with this one, it came with, and I did buy this used on eBay, but it did come with the original monkey. And this monkey is named Harrison. So Harrison is just hanging on uh, on the front of the bag there. So they put a D ring and a keychain, monkey keychain, there for you. The nice thing is, if you love keychains, you're going to love Kipling. Um, if you don't like the monkey keychains, you could take this off and put hand sanitizers on there. You could put your own bag charms on there, whatever you want. Um, with the lug, you do not have a dedicated D-ring for keychains, but if you want to hook something to the outside of the bag, you have a couple different options. You have the crossbody strap D-ring, or you have these nice rectangular pieces of hardware where you can hang something off and it will, you know, kind of fall down the front here. So you do have your options. Um, this bag doesn't necessarily come with its own keychain, but Nicole is amazing, and she included a... Um, Oh my goodness, not herringbone aqua. Oh, what is this? I love this. Hydrangea Navy. She gave me a Hydrangea Navy keychain. So I'm so excited about this. I love this pattern. I was actually going to buy the splits in this pattern rather than ocean, but I was like, you know, let me get something in ocean. So that's going to be for another day. But anyway, thanks, Nicole, so much. All right, so let's go to the back of the bag here. Let me zip the lug the lug one back up and we do have two side pockets to go over too so i'll try to move a little bit quicker so on the back you do have the two zipper pockets so that is great so 
Here is the zipper pull that I promised I'd show you on the lug. You can see it says lug there. There's the, the lighting a little bit. And then the Kipling. So um, the Kipling actually uses a different zipper pull for their other zipper pockets. It just depends on the zipper style. Usually if the zipper is not that chunky zipper, like this, this is the chunky one here on the top. If it's not the chunky one, they usually go with this smaller star motif zipper pull. So that's what we've got on the back of the Kipling. So with the jumper, this is one thing, or one of many things I should say that I love about Love. One of them, zippers are always gonna be smooth. You're always gonna get a super smooth zipper. Number two, Amy, thank you so much for doing this because I love this feature. When she opens up the top of the pocket. So sometimes with bags, you'll get a nice big pocket like this, but they will so shut the top. So you can't put anything tall in here. Well, Amy's like, no, 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 we're not doing that. So Amy opens up the top of the pocket. So you can, you can see up in there, you could put taller items. I would not be able to put this notebook up in this pocket if she did not open this. So that is great. I'm not sure if I can put it this way. Oh yes, you can. Look at that. So you can put horizontally or vertically like I just did here. So thank you, Amy, for doing that. This is a nice, I would say medium sized uh, fruit notebook that I have in the back there. And then I just have the, the keychain that I just showed you. So also you've got a nice sneak peek print. This is the coordinating print with the color ocean. That's another reason why I wanted this bag or something in this color because this, this blue is one of my, it's probably my favorite shade of blue to be honest. And I just love the, um, the contrasting, the, the coordinating rather lining. I just think it's beautiful. But you do have the full length, you know, the full range of this pocket. You can put all kinds of things in there, your phone, your keys. If you're someone that has like a tablet size smartphone or a Kindle or something, you're getting it back here if you want to put it back there. It's going to fit. Okay. And then for the Kipling, you, another thing about Kipling, I will say, they have the chunkier zippers. They have these smooth zippers. They are just as smooth as a lug. Lug has these buttery, soft, heavenly moving zippers. Kipling does too. They just look different, but they still move nice and smooth. So in this bag, we do not have the top disconnected. So this is what I meant. You can't use the top section of this bag, but you still have a nice range pocket here. So in the back here, I just have my iPhone 11 case. This is my little bit of a bulkier protective case for my phone that I just put in the back there. And then I also have a pack of gum. So you can see, I just have two small items in here. Both of these bags, you can get so much more in these bags. Okay. Let me fix this up. So on both bags, you also have these side flanking pockets. On the lug, it is um, kind of like this elasticized, there's definitely a piece of elastic in there, scrunchy pockets, and listen to this, Yes, there is a hidden magnet on both sides of these pockets. So if you are not using them, they will sit flat to the bag. They're not going to stick out. They will look flush. It will look like there's not even pockets there. And honestly, y'all, I have stuff in these pockets and it's very nice and slim. So you can keep stuff in there that you might want to keep concealed. Don't have to worry about it falling out because you have a hidden magnet. So you can see, look how closed and protected that is. So I think the combination of lug putting the hidden magnet and the scrunchy uh, elastic scrunch there, it's perfect. It's gonna keep your pocket closed. So in this, I have a little travel deodorant and on the opposite side, same deal, same type of configuration. I love how they stretch out. So you're gonna be able to fit a water bottle. I apologize, I did not bring, I did not bring a water bottle, um, but I'm pretty sure in other videos that I saw, if you have the, um, I, I'm sorry, I can't remember the, the name of the signature uh, lug water bottles, but I think they fit in here. Um, but I do have a Vera Bradley Kiss Lock pouch. This has some of my um, earrings inside and it fits beautifully. As for the Kipling, so we've got the same deal in terms of the pockets being nice and flush to the bag. Why is that? Because Kipling has this really strong Velcro. 
it is very strong. So you don't have to worry about this being a weak piece of Velcro that's never gonna connect. No, no, it connects very strong and it does not have any elastic, but as you can see, it does come out just enough. I don't think you're gonna be able to get your bigger water bottles, but if you have one of those standard size, you know, plastic water bottles, it's gonna fit in here. Um, but it also depends on how much you have in the bag because I assume, you know, the bag can push out a little bit into the pockets, but I do have this packed and I can still extend and get my whole hand in this pocket. So I still think you can fit that plastic water bottle. But in this one, I do have my Vera Bradley RFID card case in Indio, with just some business cards inside. See, that sits nice and flat. And then on the opposite pocket, we've got the same configuration. Uh... I guess, oh, you know what I had in here? I have the crossbody strap rolled up because I'm just using the shoulder straps right now. So that's what I had in there. All right, so I think we got to the outside of the bag. You guys excited? We're gonna get inside. All right, so let's pull these back into the frame. So on the lug jumper, you're gonna get the double zipper pulls here and the, the zippers do go right down to that crossbody strap D-rings on each side. You know. Love zippers, buttery smooth, ready to see inside. Okay, so this is everything that I have in the interior. I have it pretty packed full, and I'm not sure that I would go any crazier than that, other than there is a clear view pocket on the front here. I do think I can definitely get more items in there, but in terms of the main interior, I think I do have it pretty well stuffed. Personally, that's where I would go, but also look at the top. I can scrunch it down just a wee bit. So I could probably fit like a really lightweight work sweater uh, or cardigan on the top there. So first thing we see when we open the bag, besides the gorgeous pattern, we've got one of my favorite features from Lug as well, which is their branding tag because on the inside tag, they tell you what style of bag you have. So you are never gonna be caught, you're not gonna be caught wondering what bag style do I have? I can't remember. This is the lug jumper. And you also have a great look at the interior pattern. It is gorgeous. And we're gonna get another good look at it once I unload the bag. So right below that branding tag, we've got a few more things going on here. First off, we have the signature lug key bungee. So if you wanna keep your keys close, but you wanna keep them accessible, you got it. And on my key bungee right now, I have my Vera Bradley mini backpack. Uh, I don't remember the pattern name, but it is like a patriotic print with the stars. Got it in an online outlet sale. And in here, I just have, this is where I keep all of my Vera Bradley and such key rings. So I usually take the key rings off my lanyards because they come with an extra key ring and I just throw them in there. And then if anybody ever needs a key ring, your girl gotcha because I got lots of key rings. Okay, for further organization, we've got two pen slips right here. I just have a nice size Sharpie highlighter in there. I love how the, the top clips over. And then I have a red Sharpie just to demonstrate. And of course, since this is a larger bag, there's gonna be no issue of this hitting the top of the zipper or the seam here. Speaking of the seams, look how nice and sturdy that seam is. That looks great. And then additionally, what we've got, we have a big, stretchy, soft line cargo pocket. Okay, just to give this cargo pocket a little bit more love. Let me take those items out here so you can see how big it is. And this is perfect for your sunglasses or if you wanna put your phone in there. So the soft line part is to the front of the pocket. So, you know, if you want your screen protected, there you go. If you want your sunglasses protected, you know, there you go. But that is great. You definitely have room for more. You could put your readers and your sunglasses in here. I also have a little button that Nicole gave me. It says smile on it in that pocket. So yeah, just know you could put, you can double up on glasses or put whatever you want in there. So that is that. And just to show you what else I had inside of the bag, I had a uh, full size reading book. And then this is the Vera Bradley, I think it's called the e-reader sleeve or something like that. This is in the retired print English Rose. I do not use this as an e-reader sleeve because I do not have one, but if you have small to medium sized books, this is going to be perfect for protecting your books. I've used this for a little while now for my small to medium sized books. 
and um, you know there's just a little pocket in there and whatnot but I just wanted to show you you know what that looks like inside of the bag okay so we're gonna take those things out and then I have a um, flamingo hearts coin purse that's from Vera Bradley I have a bramble coin purse also from Vera um, I should you know show you as I'm taking stuff out I have a uh, mini cosmetic by Vera Bradley as well. This is in Hummingbird Park. Now we're getting a little bit closer to the bottom there. I just showed you this mini backpack, so we'll put her out there. And then I have the that lug splits that I showed you. I also think the splits, if you really wanted to, fits in that cargo pocket. I know sometimes people like to put their wallets in their pockets. I like to do that too sometimes. That fits perfectly down in there. It doesn't take up too much room in the main interior, so that's great. Okay, so now that we have, let me go ahead and just uh, take this off here so I don't accidentally fling it off the table when I do this. Okay, so there is a better look at the interior pattern. And then if we flip it around to the other side, and let me flip this top up a little bit so we can see. We've got the another signature feature from Lug. Um, oh, there's a little string there. This is the uh, Lug Clearview Pocket that is in a good majority of their bags, especially their newer bags. You can put makeup in here, lotion, anything. You can put your wallet in here if you really want to. Um, you can put anything in there. So I have a little Vera Bradley notebook and um, another Owl's Coin purse in that pocket, just to give you an example. The pocket seam stops here and here. It does not go to, you know, to the clear end of the bag, so you can see the bag seam going down right there. But you have amazing, 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 amazing capacity in this bag. Uh, just real quick before we move on to the Kipling Defia, I'm going to reconfigure this just so you can get another look at how, at least with the items that I'm showing you in this video today, how you can organize your bag. Okay, so I'm going to put that in the front and then maybe put this over in the side. Okay, so here's a quick reconfiguration. So before I had these coming up vertically, now I put them down horizontally. I've got the wallet, I've got the Bramble coin purse, and in this corner I got the Flamingo coin purse, I got the pet, or the highlighters in the same spot, glasses in the same spot, I've got the mini cosmetics standing uh, upright, and boom bow, that's it. There's the little key leash. And we are set on the lug jumper. Okay, and so the Kipling Defia, I'm going to go through a little quicker because I do have a full review on this. Um, so you saw the configuration in the lug jumper. Now we're going to look at the configuration in here because even though the outsides of the bags are very, very similar, the interior is a place where it gets different. Okay, so you will see in this Defia, I can get a lot more stuff in here. And... It might not look like it's a lot more, but the items that I have in here are bigger, and I just have more things. So, in here I have a, another good size reading book. I have the large piece of the lug round trip and camo orchid that has all my battery packs and things. This, I did switch out my, uh, so this is something new. I did switch out my pen case. This is the pencil case and floral nightingale by Vera. I also threw my travel pack of silverware in here. This is the double eyeglass case by Vera. I've got readers and an extra pair of sunglasses. This is also new, something I haven't shown yet. This is a, a mini journal or mini notebook by Vera Bradley in the pattern cloud vine. This is the uh, petite kiss lock case and watercolor. It has my flash drives in it. I also have the pirouette pink tissue case by Vera Bradley. Also by Vera Bradley, I have the clamshell cosmetic. This is in the print cloud by Multi. And in here, it is super, super full. I just have everything. Masks, tape measure, highlighter, little notebook, feminine products, you name it, I got it in there. Um, okay, now that the bag is empty, here's the inside. So this is an I don't know how old this style of the Defia is, but I do know there are Defias out there that you can get that have an interior print. Might be a little bit harder to find. Um, interior prints are important to me. I do love them, but I'm, I'm okay with this not having an interior print. I have several bags. 
that do not have interior prints. I'm just glad this doesn't have a black liner. I would not, probably would not have this if it had a black liner on the inside just because it's hard to see things. But you can see we've got a nice light tan liner. And in terms of the configuration, remember on the back of this one, we had uh, the, the cargo soft line pocket, the two pen slips, and the key bungee. On this one, we have a, a, a pretty large size zipper pocket. And in here, I just have an extra Kipling strap. And I also have the Ariana Grande Cloud sample perfume. And this pocket, I would say, yes, it does go all the way to the bottom of the bag. So you can kind of see that stuff down there. And then here is where you have the, the key leash attachment there. It's right here. It starts right there. And it comes out like this. So if you do want to have this hanging outside of the bag like you can with the jumper, you can do that with the Defia. On the opposite side. So I did learn that the Kipling Defias vary. If you have one of the original Kipling Defias, the configuration is going to look different on the inside. But with the one I have, and I'm showing you today, you have a larger size slip pocket. I do have my med kit in there. You have one pen slip, and then you have a, a, a slip pocket that is a little bit, sorry, I'm trying to get you in there. It's a little bit smaller. And there I have my Chums wallet, just bringing an extra wallet just in case. And I have my Cindy B tech case. Let's get techie and purely peacock. So that is the configuration inside of my Defia. So I think that is everything. I just noticed when these two bags came out, I was like, and you know, I'm new to Kipling, so I just recently discovered this style. But when it, when this jumper came out, I was like, wow, that reminds me of something I've seen before. And lo and behold, it, you know, it looks very similar and functions very similar to the Defia. I love them both. I love them both. And that's kind of why I could justify getting them both because I was like, you know, they, this is a little bit smaller, not by much, but just a little bit. And the configuration is different. And even though they're both like nylon material, the, they both have a completely different feel. With the lug, you've got like this shiny, soft, smooth feel with the Kipling. It's also very smooth, but it, it, it's a little bit. I wouldn't say rougher, but it's just a little bit more, a little bit more flexible, a little bit more like grabbable, if that makes any sense. It's just a little bit more of like a slouchier, that's what I'm looking for. It has a little more of a slouchier feel. Whereas if, when you saw I emptied this out, this had still had pretty good structure. This has a little bit more of like a slouchy structure, which I like both. I like having good structure. I like having slouchy. So that is all really really great to me just as another reminder you know the lug does have feet i'm not sure i'm a huge believer in feet just on bigger bags just because even though there's feet this is still touching this bottom is still touching so um that's okay i'm not mad that they're there i think that's a really good and thoughtful addition from lug but i just wanted to get this video up i again i love both of these bags i love both of the colors they're both going to get a lot of use and love out of me um, so thank you again, Nicole, for this awesome lug jumper. And just in case you're curious, lug jumper in the color ocean and Kipling Defia in the color stone purple. If you guys have any questions about either of the bags, about either of the configurations, uh, just leave those down below. And again, if you want to see the measurements, I will leave those in the description box below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.